Hello, traders. Uh, we are recording the video today because uh, ATSTW SYS008 trader did ask me a few specific questions. And this is the first video that I'm recording to answer, okay, uh, some of those questions. So I need to, I don't want to mention the name of the trader. Just want to say to that trader, thank you very much for your patience. And I will be answering all your questions, all right? Thank you. Let's get started. So if the price is going down in a downtrend, all right, so there is a, what we can see very often, you say one example here, price goes down, okay, and then we see a consolidation. And then if you break below it and find a resistance, it may go down more. Now, how do we project the channel, all right? Very simple. You see, this is the channel because it's a horizontal channel. The price did consolidate here. Sometimes it may not be... Uh, a horizontal channel, it may just be a triangle. So other traders may see that is, all right? So sometimes it may form a clean cut a triangle. Here is not, okay, a clean cut triangle, though other traders may see as a triangle, all right? So if you see, if it's a triangle, all right, if it's a triangle, I'm saying if it is a triangle, Using market geometry, we will use the height of the triangle. This is the height of the triangle. And then we project it down like this. You can see that the, the ultimate target is somewhere down here. And the midpoint target will be somewhere in the middle here. All right? All right? So that, that is about uh, the triangle, okay? If you form a triangle. So if we, if you have a triangle, and you project it down as I did, and you cannot see the ultimate target. Therefore, you have to use only the midpoint target. So you use the midpoint target first, because you cannot see the ultimate target, you project it here. Uh, trader will put it down at the breakout point, some will put it at the end here. So if you project it at the breakout point, uh, this will be your midpoint target. The reason why you are using the midpoint target is because when you project the ultimate target here or here, because I cannot see the end of it, I want to know at least where is the midpoint target. All right. So this is about a triangle. So a lot of traders may say that, George, uh, this video is not for me. I know about it, but uh, <laughs> it's a very important tutorial. All right. Now, if it is horizontal channel as it is now here, all right, we do the same thing. We measure the height of that uh, rectangle, if we call it rectangle or horizontal channel, and then we project it down again, same thing. Here we project it down. Because I cannot see the ultimate target, I will use the midpoint target again as I did in the case of uh, the triangle. So I will, because I cannot see it, all right, at the end of that triangle, I'll put it down here, and that will be my midpoint target almost in the same zone. You can see now for this financial instrument, the price went below the midpoint target. It hit it. It's finding a bit of resistance here. All right, so some traders are selling it down here. All right, so this is about, okay, how to project a channel in a downtrend. Now, one more thing before we wrap it up, okay? unless I did not answer the question correctly. Now, if we are in a declining channel, so suppose you, you, you see like this, that it's a declining channel, the price going down like this. So I'm connecting this point and this one here. That's the first line that I draw, it's a declining channel. And uh, suppose I choose just one point below here. Uh, I choose uh, this pivot point here. So first point, first line, I'm connecting this point at this point. So I can draw color it now into red, okay? Now, then I just select one pivot point because I want 70% of that down move to be in a declining channel. That's why I put it here, all right? If I put it somewhere, right? All right, you see, if I put it here, you can see that some of the prior are out. So this is just a question of a choice that I make to select one point somewhere here, and I draw another line that is parallel to that one, the red one here, and we have a channel, all right? Very, very important. So when we have a channel like this, sometimes the prime may come out of that declining channel, okay? In that case, we project it down like this. 
And then at the end of this projection, we draw another line because I cannot see it. We draw another line parallel to this one. So suppose, okay, you were here and you see that it came out of uh, the, the, the declining channel. You want to project it down in the direction of the prior because the prior went below. So you are just, then you can draw a line to connect that point to that point. Draw a line that is parallel, okay, to this one. Then you have another channel. So as you can see here, that projected channel, uh, the media line, that's where the pride did stop. So this will help you to find uh, the pivot point and the hotspot training zone. So talking about the hotspot training zone, we are talking about the intersection between a normal horizontal key level, all right? Generally speaking, generally speaking, a normal horizontal key level and a trend line. All right, that's the general okay definition of a hotspot trend zone. Though we have other type of hotspot trend zone, I was talking about a dynamic trend line intersection with the pitchfork tool and so on, any horizontal line and, a, and any part of the pitchfork tool, even intersection between uh, horizontal key level and moving averages, those are hotspot trend zones. So, your question was to Project the channel and also to identify the horse portrait zone you want to because when traders are using channel or they are projecting channel, sometimes they forget the horizontal uh, support and resistance. And sometimes you see here, you see why the price did stop at that median line there is because of this support here. You see this support here. So though it's going down, people sometimes they forget that. So sometimes the, the median line may be here. And people will try to buy there. But because there is a better support below, which is the horizontal level, they probably will break through that trend line and go and find an horizontal support level. So therefore, by combining okay, the trend line and the horizontal key level, you will find okay what we call the horse portrait zone, which means you have a trend line and also you have horizontal key level. So traders that are only watching the horizontal key level will also be at the rendezvous. And traders that are only watching the trailer will also be there, which is a good point. Doesn't mean that the prowl will definitely turn around a horse portrait zone. Like here, it's a horse portrait zone. All we do, we just highlight it. Okay, you highlight it's a horse portrait zone, highlight it. And then if the common trailer line is broken, you can use the TSTW S Y S U zero eight. So you see here, the price just run fast, okay. So it is a long candlestick bar on the monthly chart. So if you see that you are you want to join it before the monthly candlestick bar is closed, you need to go to the weekly chart or another lower time frame. So I thank you for your patience. All right, I will be answering all your questions as I promise. Okay, so stay put, please. Thank you, and uh, I will speak to you soon. So this will conclude our discussion today about uh, projection. How I project a channel in a downtrend to locate horse sport tradition. Happy to to you all, and I will speak to you soon. See you in the next tutorial, because there are more important questions that the gentleman has asked, okay?